If you've got low porosity hair, then this video is for you. As you guys know, I have got low porosity hair. And guys, it's a struggle to get moisture in this hair. We love it, but man, it can be a bit of a challenge. So I decided why not share um, these tips around how to maximize the amount of moisture that you infuse into your hair. Um, and you never know, it might benefit somebody out there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Oh, and by the way, I am using a, a product in this video that you guys might be surprised um, is actually a game changer when it comes to locking moisture in your hair. So let's get into this video. For the past few months, I have been experimenting with braids um, a couple of times simply because braids seem to keep moisture a little bit longer in my hair and also somehow they reduce single strand knots a little bit better than twists which I usually am used to. And as you can see my hair is you know dry and ready for moisturization or hydration whatever you want to call it. Um, and the focus this year has been very much around health. As you know, my hair is thinning out or breaking. Um, I've done a video all about this. I'll put a link above if you're interested. And I just want to really zone in on, you know, catering to my low porosity hair, if you know what I mean. And moisture is very big when it comes to low porosity hair. So as you can imagine, I will be trying things to enhance the moisture in my hair. So I'm starting off with some warm water guys in this um, spritz bottle and in case you're wondering um, this method that I'm sharing today is actually the baggy method. Go figure! <laughs> the baggy method is not a new method for hydrating or moisturizing hair. It's been around like forever. Like when I first started taking care of my natural hair some six seven years ago um, the baggy method was already out there. However a lot of us kind of stopped using it for one reason or the other and I'm here to say look it might actually benefit some of us out there it's not for everybody of course and some of us might change it to suit our routines however it's something worth trying in my opinion anywho I'm going ahead and squeezing that water uh, or the moisture into my hair because I want it to be well coated and well hydrated before I start adding anything else um, and before I forget, this method actually, you know, it could be the baggy method or even the greenhouse effect because as you will see down the line, I will be adding um, an oil to my scalp to stimulate my scalp as well because I mean, why not? All right, I'm going ahead with um, Camille Rose's um, hair milk and I'm trialing this product out simply because it's a little bit on the lighter side and the... The hope or the idea is that it penetrates my hair a little bit better um, as you guys know low porosity hair doesn't do very well with very, very very heavy products because the cuticle is tight and you know you don't want heavy products sitting on top of that if you know what I mean I've done a video about this I'll put a link above for you guys anywho I'm going ahead to squeeze the product in as well you really want to take your time obviously the style you are wearing while doing this will matter and for me because it's braids um, it's really important for me to massage the product in and squeeze it in um, so that the product goes right down to you know as many strands as many strands as I can get next I'm going in with avocado oil and I've been loving this oil um, this year actually um, ever since researching a little bit on penetrating oils and sealing oils um, and I've done a video I'll put a link above to that I have been loving olive oil it seems to be the sweet spot between you know penetration and um, sealing for, for me when it comes to oils once again I am squeezing the oil in just to make sure it's gone through um, and that every strand is coated with the oil and um, the hair is very well moisturized. 
don't forget your edges and don't forget your nape quite important and the hairs around those areas are quite delicate and they actually need more um, TLC if you may lastly I'm going to apply this oil from Reina hair care to my scalp I love this oil because it's actually quite light it smells great and it easily absorbs into my scalp so that is going to stimulate hair growth and keep my uh, scalp nice and moisturized as well so um, yeah that's why I'm using that one obviously the water is the moisture however that oil goes in to nourish and also to seal the moisture in onto the scalp and the hair as well so you can do this it's optional obviously um, however yeah I'm a bit extra <laughs> at this particular moment so I went ahead and applied it to my scalp recently I've been really taking a little bit of a chilled approach to natural hair and really just doing what I want to do with my hair um, I've never claimed to be an expert but what I did promise to do ever since starting this journey was to share my journey my experience with you guys and that's exactly what I'm doing and I hope it does help someone out there the aim is not to confuse you with all these experiments but rather to inspire you to develop your own routine um, for yourself to cover your hair you can use a plastic cup or any plastic bag really but today I'm going to use glad wrap and that's just to ensure that the edges of my head are closed quite well so that we don't have any moisture escaping um, and it, it really hold through the night and not you know uh, loosely just fall off my head um, and that's the reason I'm using glad wrap today however feel free to use whatever works for you so I'm going to show you how I apply other head covers to my hair to go to bed and usually I'm going to apply this at night and leave it overnight and remove everything you know in the morning however for this video I only uh, left it on for a couple of hours the surprise ingredient I'm using to seal my hair is actually hair grease. We have shunned away from grease for so many reasons for so many years but if you want to try this I encourage you it's probably the strongest sealant there is to date um, and after infusing so much moisture guys it is worth sealing it. So I'm using grease in this particular video. I apply a bonnet and on top of that a towel. Uh, just to ensure I can trap whatever heat my scalp produces uh, and this helps to expand and also allow the cuticle to open and allow moisture into the hair. All right guys, so it is almost the end of the day. So my hair has been in here for minimum five hours. <laughs> I had to leave the house and run some errands. So that's how come we have a couple of scarves on Whoop. so what's gonna happen now as you can see my hair has sucked up all that product. Um, it had already sucked up the product prior to me sort of, you know, before I put in the plastic and everything, but it just feels so soft, so hydrated. Uh, obviously I can feel some product, but it's not like there's a lot of product residue or anything on top of there. Um, and what normally happens at this stage is I will go ahead and apply castor oil or even just more, you know, avocado oil, or I will apply grease to lock in all this moisture that's in here. And ever since I started doing this buggy method, guys, my hair feels so good. Hold on, I have to kill a fly. Yeah, I can't function with flies. I don't know about you guys, but oh. So today I'm just going to use grease. However, other days I'll sort of just use castor oil or just add more of the avocado oil. And that's pretty much it. 
and I applied the entire shaft of the hair to lock in that moisture and I will be done. If you suffer dry hair, please try this out before you can rule it out. If, you, if you've got low porosity specifically, um, you might actually benefit for, from, from something like this because the baggy method, the greenhouse effect, those are some of the best ways to infuse uh, moisture into the hair. And that's it guys, scalp feels refreshed. Hair is highly moisturized. I go to bed and apply like a scarf on and my hair will be laying flat for tomorrow at work. And there is no issues whatsoever. If this is not your kind of style, obviously you can do like head wraps and things like that. But for me, this is working. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try the baggy method or if you're gonna try it. Um, what sort of ways, tips, techniques do you use to moisturize your low porosity hair or even your high porosity hair or medium porosity hair? Whatever the case may be, please comment below. You never know who you help. Until next time, bye. Thank you.